squad is finally nearing its first beta phase and is currently playable in the public playtest. The commander role, while being the main focus of this patch, I will be making a separate video after release for a few reasons. The main reason being, it's quite difficult to get my hands on the commander role within the public playtest on the servers, and it's also not currently available within Jensen's range in offline mode. The secondary reason being, things are constantly changing with the commander role, such as their ability cooldowns, and at the time of my video, I want all information to be as accurate as possible for the release build. In saying all this, there's more to the patch than just the commander role, and we're going to focus on these things within this video. first thing we're going to touch on is buddy rallies, and yes you read the title correctly, they have been nerfed. First things first, single man squads no longer have the ability to use the buddy rally system. You now need a minimum of two people on the squad, so that's the squad lead plus one other to gain access to use buddy rally. Secondly and finally, as well as the most significant change, you no longer can freely bunny hop from rally point to rally point, as a 150 second cooldown period has been put in place. So now you are stuck with your decision for 150 seconds before you can switch to a new rally point position. While it's not the change I wanted, such as removing the buddy rally, or maybe just giving it to unconventional factions only, I think these two changes are positive ones towards the buddy rally. There's been a few changes to movement. Leaning now costs stamina when doing so. Stam drain is minimal, but as you do it more, and you increase the speed of switching between Q and E, your stam drains rapidly. You're still able to lean, even though your stamina has reached zero. This doesn't fix the issue of people Q and E spamming to cheese their opponent into missing their shots. At zero stamina, I'd like to see the lean move slower. Leaning while standing and moving, there is a minimal stam drain. The stam drain is the same, no matter if you're lean walking while ADS or un -ADS. The most noticeable change is the stam drain while leaning and crouch moving and the movement speed which has been reduced by 50%. I think the stam drain is fine, but I think the reduction in 50% should be more so around the 30-35% mark, as it currently feels a little too slow and sluggish. Stam regen based on stance has been added, from 0 stamina to 100, while standing and stationary takes around 12 seconds, while crouched and stationary it takes around 9 seconds, and while prone and stationary it takes around 8 seconds. Moving on to vehicles, the US logistics truck and transports model has been updated. We also now have a green variant for woodland and forest type maps. The MRAP has also received these changes. The squad finally gets a vehicle reset button, which you access by holding F on the vehicle and selecting the correct button which brings up a menu. The menu has multiple options from left and right turns that vary from 45 to 180 degree angles third button, just flipping as is. Once you've selected your option, you move your mouse to the middle of the wheel and it takes 30 seconds for the unflip process to complete. The gearbox system for vehicles has been updated and is no longer RPM based. It's now based on speed, so it's a lot more accurate and responsive, especially when in climbing inclines. Steep inclines are still a huge pain in the ass though. Ragdolling out of vehicles at high speed will now cause damage upon impact. I tested this both in local and on a live server and couldn't get it to work. Maybe I wasn't going fast enough or maybe it's just bugged currently. But overall, it's nice to see OWI focusing on small things like this as well. Helicopters have had a few changes and additions and they will be displayed on screen. OWI has assured us there's more coming in the future we can expect to see some more changes and additions to the flight model. There's been some user interface touch-ups. The deployment screen, specifically the squad section, has been tidied up quite nicely, where the squad leader and squad name has been separated so it looks a lot cleaner. FTL's got a little love and now have the ability to place markers down. Nice little change to help lighten the load off the squad lead. Oh, you can put that mark down? The fuck? Yeah, I can put them all down, all the marks. Under settings on interface, an option to disable chat on screen has been added. A nice little addition to help clean up some screen space. Speaking of settings, while in an active game, your gamma slider is locked. 
so no longer will you be able to adjust your gamma on the fly. And this has been back at it, and we got a lot of new sounds. out smoke grenades now has a sound cue and when putting them away placements now have pivoting sounds and some of the emplacements share the same sound I think it's a nice touch, but it could be tidied up a little bit. When you stop pivoting, some of the sounds still play for a short while after. In the previous patches, when you click the Call Medic button, your character would call Medic in a generic American accent. Voiceovers are now localized. Man down! We need a medic! Sanitar! On top of this, voiceovers have been added for multiple things, no including a warning when your ticket count is low. Failure is not an option. The oh fuck man. was that? That's a new audio blip. New lighting has been added to a variety of maps and layers. On screen will be two examples, one from Belair and one from Narva. The new lighting looks less intense and a bit lighter and a lot more natural. On top of this, optimization has been done on certain maps and I have felt a slight improvement in performance. The SKS is no longer a weapon option for the insurgent squad lead. If you select the PMD or AKM option instead of a regular old pistol as a sidearm, you have the Scorpion machine pistol instead. I think it's good, a nice subtle buff for the insurgents. Anyway guys, this is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully it was insightful and helpful. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.